In this video, I'm going to be checking out something called C1 Metalizer. It's a very interesting powder famed for making paints look more realistically metallic. If you look at the box art, you'll see a gold car of some sort. I don't know. I think it looks like a Ferrari. There we go. A beautiful metallic gold. So far in my test, I haven't been able to recreate that look, just so you know. So I cannot confirm nor deny that. And while I'm working on this kit right here, the Master Grade 1100 scale Jagan. Oh, but no, this is a Jesta. What the hell is wrong with me? I have Jagans on the mind. I decided to use some of the C1 Metalizer for this video, for the sake of just doing it to do it. I will most likely do it again using spoons, which I just recently ordered to get a better look. Also, something I forgot while conducting this test is the fact that I laid down some aqua clear coat from Alcalad 2 on top of all the inner frame. So this may affect the overall look. Well, I think it actually did. It still serves its purpose because frankly, this metalizer powder even used on a plastic can make it look more metallic, but it works best with darker metal tones in my personal opinion. I have tried it on chromes and did not yield the results I was expecting, but not to be discouraged by this, I did order a different metallic powder said to work perfectly for chrome pieces. It's made in Taiwan. The name escapes me right now, but in a month from now when it finally gets here, I'll be sure to do an updated video to give you an idea of that. Currently, the instructions are pretty straightforward. You dip your little, whatever the hell these things called, an applicator into the powder and you do it in a circular motion. As you see, I'm not doing that because I don't follow rules. I set trends, I don't follow them. And I began going to work on it. At the time, as I said before, I forgot that I laid down an aqua clear. Though this shouldn't be much of an issue, I believe it may have affected the overall look. It makes it a bit more reflective, just enough. Whereas to the normal paint in and of itself, which is Alkalad 2 steel I used with a Mr. Metal Color stainless steel as a highlight. You also notice that I got some of the uh, metalizer on the black LED for the head. Notice how it looks silver on one side and black on the other. Once again, the metalizer does work real well on plastics. If you're one of those people that don't paint Gunpla, then uh, you might actually be somewhat interested in this because it will give your inner frame a metallic look, but the stuff is fairly expensive. From what I remember, it's around $27 from Hobby Link Japan. It's not that easy to get in the States. So overall, if you just buy the metalizer and pay for shipping, you're dropping around 30 or 40 bucks. They also give you an extra cotton bud to sort of dust off any excess powder. Eh, it doesn't really do much or help anything. It does dust off the excess powder, but it doesn't really make anything look any, despite what the instructions may have said. I then got a little discouraged and tried to rub it on a metallic paint on one of the connectors, to see if it would yield any results. It did, but the only thing it really pulled off was making the reflective look of the paint I used turn into a more mute color. So, who for thought? You want your reflective paint to stay reflective you probably don't want to rub it with the metalizer maybe i'm doing something wrong but so far my tests over the past couple months have all yielded the same or similar results i will now move to the upper chest area and only focus on one side or to give a better contrast you will notice that there's a slight reflectivity in the upper neck area i did try this on but it's ever so slight it's you really got to get up on it to see it so maybe if you're looking for that sort of look, it could work for you. But for me, I don't know, I'm not too impressed with it. Also, and a little something, if you've highlighted any metal parts, i.e. if you laid down your base color and then did some sort of, as I said before, highlight of a darker tonal metal on, you know, panel lines, etc., in key areas, this will sort of negate that, I've noticed. Just something to remember. You know, you just go slapping it on like I just did. You'll pretty much remove all the details you painted yourself. So, on one hand, if you painted something you didn't like it, you could probably cover it with the metalizer. On the other hand, if you painted something and you like it, you're going to cover it with the metalizer. Don't worry about getting the metalizer on any of your non-metallic paints. If you rub it gently enough, the stuff will come off. But if you really work it in there, you're, you're screwed. That's all there is to it. You're gonna have to repaint or something. And that's about it, honestly. I did do some sort of comparison shots to try and give you a better look at what the reflectivity is like. 
this is actually very hard to pick up on camera. It looks better in person and more reflective in person than it does on camera. It's really just hard to define. But if the light's right, you can see that there's a bit more reflectivity. There's a bit more light coming off of that metal piece than the normal painted paints. So maybe that's where the magic lies. It actually gives a little bit of a metallic feel, just enough. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it really depends on how much you care. This stuff is for an American to get it here anywhere from 30 to $40. So is it worth 30 or $40 for something you might not see that well or might not convey as well in pictures and video? I don't know. But as I've always been on the quest to make my Gunpla look very interesting, if not trying to be one of the best in the game, I've invested a lot of money in learning processes. And I figured I'd share it with you. As I stated before, I'm going to try and do this again, but with uh, a better testing result, if you will. I'm going to use spoons in a multitude of metal colors. Because this stuff only works in certain situations, in my personal opinion, and not all of them. And as I'm no modeling master, don't take my word as a gospel because I'm not finding it to be as amazing as I thought it would be or as amazing as the book or as amazing as the box art looks. I mean, the stuff that's on the box art looks phenomenal. But when I use this stuff on my metallic paints or my chrome paints, I don't get the same results that I see there. I'm quite confused, but whatever. Trial and error. I'll figure it out at some point, right? Well, rate, comment, and subscribe only if you so choose to. If not, to hell with it. You know, because uh, that's just my vibe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Whenever that will be. Sooner rather than later, most likely.